Well, hello, hello. Welcome to the Hermitcraft server. Yay! Applause! Woo! My name is Justra, and uh, I figured I'd introduce you guys to who I am, because a lot of you guys are new subscribers recently. A lot. A lot, a lot. Um, so I wanted to give you a little bit of, a, of an intro to who I am, what I do. Um, while at the same time, given my current viewers and anybody new to the Hermitcraft server, tour the spawn, tour my base, and talk a little bit about some of the plans that I have on this server with some of the guys. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And first of all, this used to be just a pier. So this is the spawn over here, but this used to be just a pier, ended here. And lo and behold, as I was coming here to start the video, I saw that the pier has now turned into a bridge. And some crazy devil over here has started to build on the Mushroom Island. So let's go investigate. Even though I already have. Shh. And lo and behold, Corallis, the crazy building man, has started to take over the Mushroom Island. I don't know what he's going on back here. Just a face, just his little googly eyed face. He's a freak. <laughs> Oh man, whenever I see that skin, I freak out. Just a crazy goofball. Um, but he's extended this thing really far, which leads me to believe that he has major plans for the Mushroom Island. One of which is whatever this contraption seems to be, because looks like he's going to have tripwire in here. Some sort of spawner thingy. Is going to be a mushroom, a mushroom farm or something? I'm not sure. Actually, while we're here, we have some shears. Why don't we go grab a few mushrooms? Come on, where you at? Hi. Give me your, give me your mushroom stuff. Now you're a regular. They never used to do that, did they? You take it and they turned into regular mukau. Mm hmm. I'm not really sure how uh, mushrooms work, to be honest with you. I think they might. I guess when they eat the mycelium, which my particles are off. Particles. Come back on. Too much rain on the server. There we go. When they eat this, do they get like special powers or something? I'm not sure. Anyways, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about who I am and what I do. Um, at heart, I started doing the gaming thing on YouTube and posting videos. Oh, speak of the devil. Hi, yo. Welcome back. Um, I started making videos about three years ago. Started off making Call of Duty videos. But I did start playing Minecraft back in the alpha days, like 1.3, alpha 1.3, or whatever it was, um, back when it was just really pixelated blocks. Not to say it's still, it's still pixelated, but it is a little bit nicer, a lot of bit nicer. Um, anyways, we'll get that into that while I travel. We'll get back to me when I travel. But this is a spawn, for those of you guys that have never seen it. So these are my, my, my loyal viewers from back in the day. Some of you new people will probably have seen it through other hermit crafters. Um, but we got Joe Hills. We got Biffa's abode. Everybody's got a very quaint little home in the spawn village. Um, so we got Spoon, King Daddy D Mac, and then Kralis. I mean, or this is Zuma, excuse me. I think Kralis was over here. My mistake. Zuma, that British guy, got a nice too. Uh, this place, not really sure. Couldn't tell you. There's a slime farm. And then this is Kraus's place. Actually, come in here. Look, just look at the arc. I, no, I can't do it. Never. Although I'm working. I, I mean, I'm drawing inspiration from this guy and other guys like him. But I, I borrowed something from him a while back. So I had to replace it. I needed one piece of obsidian to make my portal. Thank you, Kraus. Love Juicy Poo. <laughs> so thank you, friend. Thank you, my man. But yeah, this is Kraus's ridiculous spawn home like just levels on levels that and it's just it, it's brilliant i just i don't know how the guy does it uh oh, how do i get out lost here we go moving on we got some other people over here i'm not really sure who's is who's here anymore to be honest but this is a pretty nice place who are you who are you no mo mushrooms i guess that wasn't a hard sell um, and then over here, there's 
we got ourselves a nice little, I think this is pumpkin. So we got a nice little pumpkin machine and then a nice little watermelon machine. Hit the button. Watermelon for days. Okay, stop it. I get it. That's enough, okay? I'll have you. Thank you. Um, I guess there was an old enchanting room here. This is way back in the day. It hasn't been updated yet. Too many shelves. Uh, I believe these crazy contraptions over here are cubed hamsters. I think one is a sand generator. And this is supposed to be like some tree taker downer. But uh, as you can see, the B team and the goon squad came in here and broke it. <laughs> no, we didn't. The redstone update broke it because we are on the snapshot. Woo! Heading over here. It's like a tree farm. Chicken farm or something. I don't know what that looks crazy. And then uh, we've got some empty plots here. Some empty plots in Spawn Village, which means that I have to get building over here at some point. Gotta eat. Always forget to eat when I'm, when I'm streaming, when I'm recording. I don't know what it is. Nom nom nom. Who cares? So I thought this place looked open. So the future home of the bearded Canadian Jistra. So this will be my little, my little humble abode here eventually. Maybe we'll make it go in like this. I don't know. We'll add a little bit of juicy flair, but we're going to come back to this. This will be a project uh, down the road because I have bigger and better and badder things to do at my base and the goon squad base. I think, I, I don't know. We haven't decided on name yet. The Goonies, the Goon Squad, Goons for Hire. You'll learn more about that later. Um, anyways, let's head on over to the Nether Hub and let's head on back to my base. But uh, I'd like to say that I am super, super excited. I'm sure I, I said that already, but I am super excited to be on the Hermitcraft server. A lot of really good, genuine, awesome dudes on here. And I am excited to get to know them a little bit better, work with them. And just have an awesome time. So, this, well, I should, I should show you new guys. It's the new new guys to the Hermitcraft server. This is the Nether Hub. Kind of like the Minecraft Hub, but uh, a little more pizzazz. I mean, it's not as organized. It's, let's be honest. It ain't, it ain't as organized. Every, we know this. But uh, I have chosen a spot where myself and some of the other goons, we're going to have our little Nether track which is just down there so we are gonna head over shut up you man stop it baby baby in a ghost body flying in some creepy world anyways this this track is not gonna be mine or ours but it is gonna our, our track will come from here I think we'll take it up into the ceiling so that it's hidden no gas can shoot bug us destroy it but the problem with these tracks and living so far away is that you need a ridiculous amount of tracks, and I don't want to make it. I, for one, do not want to make tracks. I want to steal, so I want to pillage a bunch of mine shafts and steal all the tracks we can get. So that's what we've been doing. Uh, don't have enough yet, but we will get to making our tracks soon. And got to be careful here. This is dangerous. Hey, Juice! Lava hurts! <laughs> oh, only some of you guys might get that. But uh, anyways, let's... Head on, head on back. We're not too far now. I'm gonna show you my base. We're gonna have a little chit chat, a little chat shit. I guess while we're on my way, on the way, on my way, huh? While we're on the way, just tell you a little bit more about myself. Um, like I said, started YouTube back in 2009. Started making, mm. started making Call of Duty videos. Like I said, started playing Minecraft way back in the alpha. So I am, I like to think, I am, I am an early adopter. I am a hipster. <laughs> I am a hipster. I bought the game when it was $5, and it was an alpha. Talk to me. Um, didn't post too many Minecraft videos back in the day, to be honest with you. I, I think I posted my first Minecraft video back in October 2010. Uh, I probably posted about 10 videos at the time, and then I kind of went back to playing Call of Duty and first-person shooters and stuff like that. But I always dabbled in... I always dabbled in in Minecraft, and hey, there's a beefy here. Um, but about, I'd say, eight eight to ten months ago, I started to upload 
Minecraft again. I started watching a lot of guys on the Minecraft server and on the Hermitcraft server. And hey, what's this? What's this? Oh, we're in a desert temple. Woohoo! So this is right by my base and some of the other some of the other guys' bases that you will you will hear from soon. Um, so this is a pretty awesome place. There's actually another desert temple just down here, and I thought, what better place to put a portal than in desert temple? Who could say they done that? Nobody. Well, somebody's done it. Unfortunately, I didn't get to get the the harder nectar from here because a zombie was down there. When I came close, he walked. He stepped on the pressure plate. Kablammo! Everything dead. Hey, Zuma. One of them tea eaters. Goddamn tea eater. And uh, this is where we're gonna call home. This is where we're calling home. We got a legitimate, amazing, ridiculous Extreme Hills biome here. That just looks bananas. I can't wait to get into that. Um, we got a nice little place over here. This place, I'm thinking I got big plans for this place. Me and a couple other guys got some big plans for this place. I think this is where we're gonna call home. Cause there are some bananas, insane, crazy, it's beautiful in there. Anyways, let's. it's getting dark. Let's head back to our place, which, if you guys have ever seen my single-player LP, which is no longer, it's it's in hiatus, because Hermitcraft has taken over. Um, I started in my Season 2 to make, like, a treehouse. I wanted a treehouse. I wanted an awesome village on the water in a jungle. I wanted to bring... You know, I wanted to have huts on the beach for villagers, and I wanted trading huts and all this crazy stuff. So I thought, let's just light it up a little bit more. I thought we'd just transfer that over here because I am no longer doing the single player. And if you guys haven't seen the single player, feel free to go through my older videos. Take a look. You guys can kind of see what it's all about. But I thought, why not bring it on over to the Hermitcraft server? And let's, let's, let's up the plans. Let's get crazier. So first of all, here's the entrance. Hop on up the ladder. Up, up, up. Voila. Welcome to my tree fortress of doom. And I, I, I worked on this. I didn't want to record this. Because, I mean, you guys have seen setups on, uh, on servers a lot. So I thought I'd just get into it. I'd get some stuff done. And then I'd show you the fruits of my labor. Anyways, and this is what I got so far. You come on up. You got your nice little, nice little work area. This is a little off center now that I look at it. I kind of have to fix that. We got some goodies in here. We got protection for. I mean, I went into the Ender Farm here that they have, and I was going crazy. Chanted a lot of stuff. Pick, pretty nice pick. I wish I got efficiency on. It. I'm a big efficiency nut, so this is still really good. Means we'll have Fortune Three for a long, long time. Oh, oh, you guys seen this? In episode one, you guys saw my little breast cancer awareness tunic and my pants from Joe Hills. And then I got a couple of iron swords here. Eh, I don't like being a broke slipods, lame slipods. Nice little power, nice little bow here. That uh, I believe this bow came from. I am Spoon brought this, and he also brought me a little invisibility potion. Can you say trolling coming up? Um, and we got our random stuff here. Some of the stuff, the fruits of our labor so far. This is from that other other uh, desert temple. I'm going to save these. They might come in handy, you know, a later date. Books. I found a village. I found a village with two librarians. Give me all the books in the world. Oh, whoa. Get back here. Let's eat. Uh, and then I kind of continued on over here. I chose this area because these, these jungle trees, they all connect very nicely. And I want to connect it all because I'll tell you about the plans in a second. Got a nice little mini farm, humble farm up here. Nothing special. I ain't going to do anything crazy with it. I just want food. Got my potatoes walking around here. Got my wheat. Got a little carrot farm in the tree. Things are looking good. But I'm going to tell you what. My plans. You guys want to know my plans for this tree base? I'm going to tell you. Plan number one. We're gonna extend this thing from tree to tree. We're gonna have to. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna grow a couple more big jungle trees down here. We're gonna connect. Connect it all. 
and then we're gonna build little huts. Little tree huts. We're gonna be like the Ewoks in Star Wars. Uh, yeah, I almost said Star Trek. The Ewoks of Star Wars. We're gonna live in the trees, man. We're gonna live kind of like the Navi, too, from Avatar. What about the elves in Lord of the Rings? Didn't they have some tree place there, too? Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna connect all of this to these jungle trees. We're gonna build a bunch of huts, and then begins the hard part. Gotta find a village that's really close. And we're gonna transport villagers, get them up into the trees, and we're gonna have the safest villagers Minecraft has ever seen. No zombie is gonna spawn up here and kill them. We're gonna have a nice little civilization. So that's the plan. Over time, we're gonna work on that. We're gonna build some different huts, I suppose. We'll have multiple huts on each tree. We'll go down the trunk or something. Hey, zombie, you ain't welcome here, man. Get on out. Shit. Let's snipe this guy. I feel like sniping. By the way, this bow has power three and affinity one. Bam! And you're dead. See, I play first person shooters. I got good aim. I'm a PvP star. Uh, <laughs> kidding. Um, but yeah, that's it. This is my base. It's a beautiful base. Can, I, can you end, please? And there's too many people asleep. Damn. Um, I won't show you Pungence's place. He's, he's down over here. I'm sure he'll show you guys in a video. This just looks spectacular. I can't wait to get into this. It's going to be fun. Um, Schism. Skyism is also going to be here, I think. Maybe. Who knows? Somewhere around here. Well, that leads me to the next thing. The final thing. You guys saw episode one, huh? Right? You guys... Oh, well, I got one thing to show you while I talk. You guys saw episode one. Check it out. My bed. What's up? I got a nice little painting because I'm artistic. Let's just set my spawn just to be safe. I think I said it. Get on out. I got books because I am edumacated and I like to read. Anyways, if you guys saw episode one, and if you haven't, I highly suggest you go check it out. Um... Myself, Pungence, and Skyzum, Schism, assisted the B team in starting to get back at those T Eaton agency members, Biffa and Exuma, or as Jeanette Reed calls them, Shishwami. So we got we got into that. We helped them out. We 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 made some bees. We we helped mark our mark ourselves on on the server. A lot of bees on their place. And that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning, guys. I think we're gonna go by... We're forming a little bit of a group of our own. Oh god, one shot, one shot, one shot! Whew! So I'm just gonna say this. You guys look out, watch out. For the goonies, the goon squad, goons for hire. Whatever you're gonna call us. You watch out. Hey, and to everybody else on the server, we're for hire. So you just reach out to one of us and we'll, we'll take care of your dirty deeds. We'll do what you won't do. We'll get dirty, we'll get, we'll get our feet wet. You contact us. Anyways, <laughs> that's it guys. Short episode, I know, but I just wanted to introduce you guys to the server, introduce you to myself if you're new to the channel. Oh shit, hi. Thank you Feather Fallen 3 Boots, bam. And yeah, that's it. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys would drop a like. If you guys are not subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe and look out for some awesome things coming from the Hermitcraft server. A la myself and some of the other lads on here. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out!